All right, so now let's discuss real quickly uh, the difference between some of these uh, travel routers that uh, GLINet makes. The Opal is the cheapest one and probably uh, the best bargain for most people. Um, what you have to consider is throughput, uh, what connections you need for it, what, what, what features you need for it. And uh, this will probably cover most people. Um, the one problem with it that I mentioned was that its USB port is a USB 2, which is a little slower. And the other problem with the uh, USB 2 port on this is that it no longer supports having a flash drive on it because when they updated firmware a couple of years ago, they had to uh, remove that functionality to add other functionality to it, apparently. So it's a pretty solid router, particularly if you need a travel router that often and uh, it has pretty good performance on it. Uh, and in most scenarios, probably depending on how fast the internet was that you're connected to, you wouldn't notice anything in speed. The nice feature on this is that it has two LAN ports, so you could walk, put, put um, an ethernet cable directly into two, up to two devices, such as laptops or desktops or whatever you're connecting into it. The next one up, the Slate Plus, has a uh, USB 3 instead of a USB 2 port in it, and it still supports putting a flash drive or, or a uh, USB drive into it so that you can share it. Uh, it's supposed to have a slightly faster speed on a 2.5 gigahertz band. I think this has 400 megabits as opposed to 300 megabits to this, but on five uh, gigahertz uh, band, they both have uh, 867 megahertz. So they're pretty much about the same. The, the main thing is the speed of the USB port and um, the fact that you can still put a USB drive into that. So that's the main difference. And so it's $30 more for those that functionality if you, if you need it or you really want that functionality. We go up. Once again, in, in this one over here, the barrel, um, it has Wi-Fi 6, so it has faster Wi-Fi on it. It has a USB 3 uh, port on it, but it only has one LAN port on it. The nice thing about these other two, with the two LAN ports, is it's almost like a mini switch, so if you need to use it just to connect two uh, computers together for whatever reason uh, on their own little network, like you're transferring files or something, that's a nice feature about it that and then we have uh the most expensive one here which is well the most expensive of the wi-fi ones is uh this slate um and it it's uh a slate ax and it it has wi-fi 6 on it as well it has a uh, usb 3 port on it but the other nice feature of this if we go in here if you see on the side here there's a, a thing so you can put a uh an sd card in the side of it so it has a uh, micro SD card slot on the side of it so that you can put that in for storage that you can share. So it's kind of built into it. So you can do it either with a USB drive or with just a uh, micro SD card. And then finally, I, uh, this one right here is called the Muddy version 2. It actually has uh, a uh, it has a, a 4G cellular modem built into it so you can you can use cellular on this instead of just wi-fi so it has the modem built in it directly so instead of uh tethering like a cell phone to it or a smartphone to to your travel router this has it built in but you would have to get that set up with a uh, service provider like uh, t-mobile or at&t or something